This is a lot of orange. Hey guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. Ooh, something in my eye. <laughs> and I am going to be doing this awesome look today. I've already done my foundation and setting powder so that I have a nice blank canvas. If you want to know what I used, I use Lime Life Wax Based Foundation and Mehran's Color Setting Powder. I've got all these different oranges for this look. I'm excited because I've never done a pumpkin look or a jack-o'-lantern look. I've never done one. I'm going to do one today. I think I'm just going to start with a light orange and then do the shading and the accenting with all my darker oranges let me see this color it's like a it's like a really kind of what's the word marigold or dandelion but it looks orange it kind of looks yellow on the camera but it's definitely orange so I'm just gonna start going in with that it's from my James Charles palette I'm gonna be using this color right here Alrighty, let's just dip in I really should have like a bigger brush for this, but I'm always using the small brushes, huh? When I do these kind of wild and crazy makeup looks, I use eyeshadows and like practical makeup instead of Halloween makeup or, you know, the stuff that you can get in the store. Eventually I do want to get, I have these Mehran paint palettes like saved on my Amazon wish list, and I really want to try those out. But since I don't have any of that kind of makeup right now, I just use the practical makeup and shadows and try to do the looks like that. Please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel that I'm just now beginning. It's good that this is a good uh, blendable orange here. I don't need to go all the way in my eyes because my eyes are going to be black. I'm looking mighty orange. Just trying to get all this um, laid down here and then I can start doing all the detailing. You know, that's when, that's when it all comes together. The detail. I kind of like having an eyeshadow based look because then I feel like you're not gonna mess it up. You know how when you have cream paints on you, they, uh, if you touch them, it just gets everywhere. It smears and with practical makeup, just use your setting sprays afterwards, you know, set all that hard work you did and you're good to go all day long. So I got these awesome primer and setting sprays. They're by, um, same formula as, what is it, Scandinavia? I think that's what it's called. Same formula for these ones. So I sprayed my face with the primer first and then if I was gonna like wear this out and about I would spray it with my setting spray because it's it lasts up to 16 hours so I love that stuff and this primer the spray primer is awesome because it just kind of smooths out the texture of your skin masks over all your pores so that you have that flawless makeup application I look like a giant pumpkin that's the point, right? I, look at me, I'm talking and not paying attention to like what I'm doing because I didn't need to put all that orange around my mouth and because I'm gonna have black there. Oh well. <laughs> I think I'm oranged enough, right? I can start doing all my detail. I've got my good base coat. I don't wanna look too splotchy though, so I'm kind of filling in some parts here and there. I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Just dye my hair green. Actually, before I do the black, let me dip into my darker orange and get that going on here. So I have um, uh, the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna be using this really pretty orange. Like, look at that. Isn't that a cool color? I'm gonna use that as my secondary shading color. All right, so we're just gonna add some detailing here with this darker orange kind of give me a mean furrowed brow and i'm just using this fluffy uh morphe brush e22 it's a nice little fluffy brush it just kind of has it smudged everywhere kind of giving him that forehead listen to me mumble rambling oh, mumble rambling <sighs> tripping over my words this kind of makes it look like I'm roundish too, having like a rounded forehead. It's all in the details. All right, we got 
some right here. Oh, there's that orange. I think I'm gonna go in with like an even lighter orange than I began with and kind of use it as highlights in certain spot, spots, parts. I tried mixing spots and parts. I was gonna use like a little bit of yellow, I think. Yellow, yeah, to uh, do some of these highlights. This yellow is called No Joke. It's from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And it's this one, this yellow. Just putting in some yellow bits here. I can't just be the person that paints their face just two colors, black and orange. I always have to make it difficult. Just adding in some yellow bits here and there. Oh, I didn't, did I get my nostrils? <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be black, that's right. I don't need to. Now for the black. Now's the fun part. I'm gonna use shadows because I think the only parts that are like paint are the mouth part and the nose and then the eyes too, probably, but I think I'm gonna use a uh, black eyeshadow instead. Just because I don't wanna use all my eyeliners up. So first I'm going to use concealer on my eyelids to make it super tacky and so that it can really make my eye look super black and saturated without too much skin showing through. I'm just gonna put this. Ooh, that was a lot. I forgot this was a brand new tube. Where's my brush? Ah, it was hiding. All right, so this shape we've got going here, it's like, I'm just kind of smoothing this out here. I got a little bit too much on my eyelid. So another advantage of putting a concealer on top of your eyelid or primer, primer too, is it keeps your eyeshadows from creasing throughout the day and it keeps them super like vibrant. So prime your eyes. All right, now to pack on the black here. Oh, I don't want it to fall all over my face though. I'm gonna use like a dense kind of floof. <laughs> floof. It's by Morphe R33. It's like a really dense floof so it can um, pack that color on pretty good. All right, maybe if I tap it, there won't be too much fallout. Don't fall all over my face. Oh! I felt it fall all the way down my face, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I don't think it left a black streak. No, there's totally some fallout all over the place. Let's give me, oh, it's all in the angles angles that make you look mean or happy or sad and then underneath it's just kind of smoked out so it's all super filled in up here and because I didn't put like any kind of setting powder or nude eyeshadow on top of that concealer the black is um, packing on there nicely harder to blend because of that but that's okay I wanted it to pack on there nice and saturated the black covers up my eyebrow nicely. Ooh, I'm getting this black everywhere. It's called Temptress. It's in that Jaclyn Hill palette I'm using. <laughs> I'm holding my head all weird. <laughs> Trying to not get so much fallout on my face. Evil. Looks super evil. It's more pointed in the picture. I kind of rounded mine a little too much. To point it out a little. I'm get some of that darker orange. You can totally see my eyebrow still, but that's okay. Let me get it underneath here too. Like with this shape of eye, I kind of remind myself of Deadpool. <laughs> An orange Deadpool. Oh, got that right in my eyeball. Kind of go down to here. I'm losing my shape. Fallout everywhere, guys. <laughs> I just tried to blow it. Get off there. Get that orange up in there. I did not get enough sleep. That's what it looks like. Got some bags under my eyes. So let's just get this black going on the other side now. Get it packed on. It's gonna be nice and black. Like my soul. <laughs> JK. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering about this, about this brush, it's the Morphe M217. Love it. It's got this cute little angle to it. 
little bit. Am I even? It's looking crazy. Who's crazy? I'm crazy. The black like makes my eyes look brown, like my eye color. I have hazel eyes. <laughs> Trick of the eye. Traitor. I'm an evil pumpkin. I should do my eyeshadow like this always. The shape just gives me such an eyebrow lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's good. All right, let me blend this out down here. My eyes disappear when I close them. That'll do, that'll do. And I'm actually gonna take some of this orange. Blend it even more. Fill in that little bit. Oh, where's my big orange brush? I need some more orange, like right here. Hopefully, this orange doesn't stain my face. Don't want to be walking around <laughs> with an orange tint. Next, more black. <laughs> I think this brush from BH Cosmetics it doesn't have like a number or anything on it. It's just like your standard angled brush. Tiny one. And I'm just gonna follow the same angle I did in the eyes. Let's do it on the other side carefully. Ugh. Why does it seem like I don't have enough black? It's like I can't get it straight on this one. It's like bowed. Hmm. This is good as it's gonna get. It's like I can't do straight lines on this side of my face. Maybe it's because I'm left handed and it's just like not cooperating. Look at it. Uh, it's all right. We can fix this. <laughs> I can't believe I completely had to redo that whole area. It looked a little blotchy. So I'm just filling it in. Am I looking more like a pumpkin? Looking like a pumpkin. That line got a bit thick. I'm just gonna. Oh, forgot to wipe my brush. <laughs> Might just make me worse. Yes, is the answer. Bah. <laughs> bah. Detailing, all in the detailing. I always say that, it's so true. Detail is what makes a look. Just kind of having it fade upward like that. It's kind of making it look more rounded too. So where I have like more of a rounded pumpkin forehead. I'm kind of doing like a stippling effect. There we go. Now for the face. Lord. Or the the face, the mouth. It's gonna take a while, huh? I'm gonna use that angled brush. And all of this will be filled in black. It'll definitely look better once it's all filled in. It's creepy. <laughs> this is gonna look so crazy once it's all filled in. All right, now to fill it all in. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Getting in all these little nooks and crannies, man. Now I can fill it all in. It's 
quite the illusion. Oh! <laughs> right. I can fix it. Or I can just smudge it more. Didn't I learn my lesson last time? Might need to put some black lipstick on to like really black that out. Definitely need black lips. Oh yeah, missing my nose. And then all the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> That's an important detail though. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> all right, let me black all of it out first. Well, it's gonna be fun getting all this black and all the nooks and crannies of everything. Now I'm gonna do the little wispy details and then it is done. I'm gonna take that black, I just have like this little black paint pot by Wet n Wild. Hey, does the job. It does the job. And just to remind everyone, the look we're doing today. Oh wait, he's on that side, huh? Wispy details. Get all those creepy details in. There we go. There we go. And then I just need to make all of these more pointed. Oh, and this detail brush is my Lime Life um, number 15 brush. Super cute. Little tiny. The metal vegan. Great brushes. And this is what's making it creepy. In case it wasn't creepy enough. All of the details makes me more excited about it. Let me darken these just a little. There we go. I think we're about done here. I think I'm just gonna smoke out under my eyes just a little bit more. There we have it. Black out my waterline. I have. It's awesome. It's called an enduring eyeliner pencil. And it's like a gel pencil. It goes on super like smooth. And then once it sets and dries on you, it is not going anywhere. It's just a pencil, gel pencil, not a liquid or anything. But once that like sets on your skin for a second, for a hot minute, right? When you go to like rub it, ain't gonna move. So I'll show you that. It's probably already set. I'm just being paranoid about it. So it's like the best pencil for your waterline because it's gonna stay and not come off. The waterline is where all eyeliner comes off first, it feels like. I'm just blacking that out there. Getting all the white bits covered. Now look, like look at, I am rubbing that doesn't smear nothing I'm you can see my skin moving <laughs> right all right let me get some mascara one of my favorite mascaras too is this one it's a fiber mascara works great if you warm it up like in your shirt or you know under your thigh while you're getting ready super cool yeah let's work it on there cover up all my ginger lashes you know what all that's left is the white contacts. Some black bits here and there. I think my look is done. What do you think? Did I do it justice? <laughs> oh, I gotta make his face. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this look. But um, if you enjoy my makeup tutorials or just watching me ramble and play with makeup, <laughs> subscribe to my channel you know like it and also hit that bell so thank you so much for joining me um this is my little look <laughs> and i'll take some pictures and plaster them on all social medias <laughs> you guys have a great day and stay spooky